This comes from an article from the Life Extension Foundation magazine by William Falloon. Harvard scientists are reversing aging in old mice using growth differentiating factor 11 or GDF11 which was originally reported in Science Magazine October 21, 2015. GDF11 is a naturally occurring peptide that has the capacity to restore aging muscles, hearts, and brains in mice. Researchers at Harvard and other institutions have shown it may induce significant age reversal effects. GDF11 has never been tested in humans until a pioneering longevity enthusiast became patient zero on June 7, 2014. About 20 volunteers are now self-experimenting and measuring biomarkers to determine GDF11's effectiveness. The next two slides describe the rationale for using GDF11, its mechanisms of action, and the human age reversal effects demonstrated so far. The conclusion is that the preliminary data from a cohort of humans self-experimenting with GDF11 indicate an urgent need for a controlled clinical trial to see if these age reversal effects are reproducible among a larger group of individuals over the age of 55. About two years ago, the first human decided to self-experiment by injecting just enough GDF-11 into his body to restore it to youthful levels. He is called Patient Zero. This slide shows why he did it. First, GDF-11 mimics parabiosis and was shown to improve three key systems in mice cardiac, neural, and muscular which makes it very compelling. GDF-11 is endogenous which inherently makes it safer than any man-made substance. Third, even the most dangerous endogenous hormones, insulin and thyroid, are not lethal in nano quantities. Fourth, the molecular structure of GDF-11 is conserved across all vertebrate species. Fifth, it shows how important it is to life and how early it showed up in evolution. Sixth, organs transplanted from older to younger people, which have a higher GDF level, thrive. And seven, letting aging take its course is almost as risky as trying GDF-11. So these are the reasons why this GDF-11 researcher decided to become patient zero. The chart on this slide shows that when GDF-11 is restored in older animals, DNA damage is greatly reduced compared to the same age group animals not receiving GDF-11. The ability of GDF-11 to facilitate DNA repair represents a potent age reversal mechanism. Step 1, stem cells incur DNA damage in replication. Step 2, eventually the DNA damage causes stem cells to become senescent. Step 3, GDF-11 repairs the DNA damage and restores function to the stem cell. And step four, GDF-11 is thought to move progenitor cells into an active state. A group of longevity enthusiasts are now self-experimenting with GDF-11. After a period of four to 14 months, they report remarkable anecdotal age reversal effects. For example, increased stamina, such as they don't get winded climbing stairs, improved skin elasticity, which is noticeable in the mirror, greater mental clarity, improved reaction time and more eloquent, gray hair reversal including white hair now growing in black, improved sexual performance, better sleep, vivid dreams, circadian rhythms uh, enforced, greater increased appetite, and an improved sense of smell. This is all nice to hear but at the end of the day what really counts in measuring the efficacy of GDF-11 is biomarkers so let's take a look at a few. This slide shows a 21 to 30 percent improvement in skin elasticity in three people self-experimenting with GDF-11 for 4 to 14 months. Skin elasticity was measured with a cutometer from three GDF-11 patients. Patient 0, aged 58, had a 29 percent improvement. Patient 1, aged 52, had a 30.9 percent improvement. Patient 2, aged 40, had a 21% improvement. This slide shows substantial improvement in cognitive function in response to GDF-11 restoration therapy in the self-experimenting group. Through normal aging processes such as glycation, soft tissues lose their youthful elasticity and become stiff. Adverse manifestations of arterial stiffening include hypertension and heart valve stenosis. Scientists have been seeking a way to reverse arterial stiffness for decades, looking for compounds that can break cross-links that form in our body's proteins. 
after 4 to 14 months of self-experimentation with GDF-11, arterial stiffness was reduced a remarkable 37%. If this is all GDF-11 did, then every aging human would want this to protect against vascular and other disorders related to the systemic accumulation of advanced glycation end products. This video was brought to you by ScottHealthSystems.com, bringing you life-changing products and empowering information. If you like what you just heard, please support us by purchasing our great health products at ScottHealthSystems.com. Thanks for listening and be sure to subscribe to this channel and click on the link below and visit ScottHealthSystems.com.